What's going on YouTube? Been a little minute, but uh, before I give y'all up there where I've been these like six, seven months, I uh, we're heading to a returning client of mine. He was my second or third real actual client in my business. And he's been very loyal to me, man. He's waited actually three months for me. Um, and I'll get into that right now, but we're just gonna do a little touch up on his pavers in the back patio and resand the joints for him and then possibly um, touch up the driveway too. But just give you a quick update where I've been is uh, towards the end of last year, I was going through a lot of stuff mentally, really, some, uh, some family matters too. And then the beginning this year, um, when I was about to get into, back into pressure washing, because my mental state is much better now, um, I lost my childhood best friend and it was just crazy because I was on FaceTime with him the night before. And then literally the next morning I get that call, I'm like, dang man, because I was supposed to pick him up from the airport. So that took a little toll on me. And then when a month later when I was like, all right, we go, let's let's fish to get back on it. I can't sit on my ass too long. I freaking this knee right here, I uh I dislocated the patella, I believe that's what it's called. And I'm still recovering from it now. Still feel I feel better, I'm like 85%. But um I'm able to like lift heavy stuff now and climb ladders, so that's why I'm really officially opening back business, my physical therapist so I can get back into it. So yeah, man. And also last thing guys, um, this channel is really gonna be more like 50% pressure washing, 50% trading, because over the last two years, um, I've always like had stocks, you know, I've like, I'm an investor kind of thing, um, you know, hold shares and stuff like that. But over the last year and a half, I've been trying to become, you know, more of a day trader. And over the last months that I haven't been pressure washing, um, I've been finding more success in day trading. So yeah, so I'm gonna make some videos on that too, guys, for y'all. Um, just because I'm really passionate about that as well. Um, obviously, I'm not a professional just yet, but I'm way off better. And, you know, I can give you all a free game and uh, how far we come in that journey. But uh, let's get it, guys. we got the truck loaded up. You all see here. We got all the stuff we need. Just got to grab my boots and uh, let's go make some money, bro. Guys, yeah, we're officially at my returning client's house. Um, we're not going to do the driveway just yet. It's not really bad. Just a couple, like, really tire marks. So he was like, I'll just wait off. And the back's not too bad either. There's only a couple weeds. I'll show you all real quick what we're working with. It still looks really good from when I paved still it a year ago. Just needs to resand the joints because I didn't do that last time since the joints still didn't look as thirsty. And they still don't look as thirsty, but he just doesn't want any weeds coming through the cracks. So, you know, I told him I got them. So I got everything set up. See, we got like little baby weeds kind of kind of thing over here, you see. But you see, these, these papers still look beautiful and shiny, man. That's that James Home Services touch right there. But yeah, man, let's get right into it, guys. So I just got done, you know, I just rinsed everything off, whatever, cleaned it. You know, you can't see any more little, um, you know, little weeds through the cracks no more. Just got to let her dry fully until I uh, start re-sanding her down. But I literally got done just in time because this old ass hose is broke on I me. Mean, look at this. I was like, why is there no water come out my, coming out my ball valve? Bro, <laughs> look, this is where we <laughs> I think just shot right off, bro. <laughs> oh, man, this is usually why you have uh, backup equipment. 
Um, I left my gorilla hose at the house because this one has literally lasted me so long. And you know, this was from my house and my dad used this for like probably like 10 years. So I guess she finally just gave out on me. But good thing I got a backup, backup hose at the crib. And thank God he doesn't want to do the driveway today either. So um, at least we don't need no more water. So <laughs> that's crazy as hell. All right, guys, I'm gonna let it dry up and then um, we'll start the resanding process. All right, guys, resanding's all done. Um, show you guys how it's looking. Dude, I got blow off the excess still, but this is exactly how you guys want it. You want it where you can just put your fingernail in there. You don't want to sit it on top. So this is lovely. It's got blow off the excess, but I still got to add a little bit extra into these little cracks right here because they're pretty thirsty. But if I show you from afar, this is what you want it to look like. You see how that looks nice and full? And if you and if you look over there, you see how it's empty. You want it to look nice and full just like that. So we'll add a little bit more sand here, blow off the excess, throw a little type, little tiny mist of water on top, and uh, hey, we're done for the day, bro. So let's wrap this job up. Guys, we just gotta do uh just gotta put the light coast a little bit of water on there we obviously gotta use homeboys because uh of my clients since my freaking rope uh, rip since y'all seen it's a light coat of mist just a little bit of water we want on it not too heavy or nothing get under there Here, I haven't got none in this area. Yeah, guys, and after that, that's it, man. Nice, quick, and easy. Quick couple of bucks to fill me in the pockets. All right. Ooh, we all done, guys. We headed home now. Um, we got done in an hour, it's only nine o'clock. See if I catch me a nice little trade set up in the market today. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll put up the after picture for y'all, too. Y'all can see there's no thirsty cracks you can see from afar. Um, you really loved it, of course. You know, it's that Jane money, that Jane's home service little, you know, little touch on it, man. Always making things look good. But uh, yeah, I had to definitely thank him because he waited for oh, about three to four months just, uh, just for me to come out, man. Um, you know, since I've been injured. And I had to thank him because, like, he easily could have called anybody else, you feel me? But... That's where in the past, you know, I tell y'all, you got to build that really good connection with your customer, man. You know, be real friendly, crack some jokes with them, give them discounts every now and then, do a little BOGOs. Make them only want to do business with you, man. You know, that's how, especially in this type of industry, since you only really clean a property, you know, maybe twice a year. Haverson is going to be at least every two years. Um, so you really got to make sure you keep your customers on lock, man. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got for y'all. Uh, I'll be uh, posting another, uh, well, I'll be posting a trading view. Uh, trading video later this week. Um, I, I can't even talk, man. It's hot. I got these freaking invisible lines in. But uh, yeah, man, I'll see y'all later this week, man. Y'all stay blessed. J Money out.